Adaptive Scheduler in Apache Storm Abstract Apache Storm is a distributed, error-tolerant, and highly scalable platform for streaming data. Storm supports a wide range of use cases, including real-time analysis, machine learning, continuous computation, and much more. This is extremely fast, with the ability to check 1 million records per second for a medium-sized cluster node. In the Storm framework, the Storm default scheduler distributes a topology workload equally into worker processes using a simple round-robin algorithm without considering any priority or criteria, leading to higher response time and less throughput. Two advanced general scheduling proposals provide better performance for the Storm. The network connection works by analyzing the topology and traffic and load constraints between nodes RST scheduling works, the second scheduling enhancement is the former method by redistributing executors through available slots at runtime to improve overall performance. Keywords, Apache Storm, Round Robin Throughput, Constraints Introduction The rapid development of social networks, IoT, Internet of Things, and cloud computing have entered the world due to society's big data age. Process command in the big data stream The team has two types of processing methods that are manageable. Stream processing enables real-time analytics, such as video surveillance, analysis in e-commerce and social networks, compared to batch processing. Currently, many systems stream process, among them Apache Storm, is adopted by many popular companies, e.g., Twitter. Apache Storm framework is a real-time, distributed big data processing system that means Storm is a framework that distributes stream processing for real-time computations. Storm continuously processes a vast amount of data even when one of its components fails. Apache Storm consists of two types of nodes, and one is the master node, which is Nimbus, and the other is the worker node or slave node, which is supervisor. Figure 1 shows Storm cluster architecture. The central component of Apache Storm is Nimbus. Nimbus runs Storm topology. Nimbus takes the topology and analyzes the task to be executed. Then, it distributes the task to supervisor. Supervisors assign tasks to worker processes. The worker process will run the task on available executors. Apache Storm is stateless. This behavior of Storm helps to process real-time data in the fastest way. Apache Zookeeper helps to store Storm's state. A failed Nimbus can be restarted since the state is available in Apache Zookeeper and continues to work from where it left. This section describes the issues of the current scheduling strategy of Apache Storm. Storm uses a round-robin approach, a default scheduling strategy that allocates executors to all available slots evenly. And also, in a single slot, no executors from various topologies will exist. This leads to a longer response time and less throughput. The user's pre-configuration determines the number of executors and worker numbers in the topology when applying the storm cluster. These configurations can be modified to get better utilization of resources and performance. But it isn't easy to specify appropriate parameters without evaluating the state of the cluster. Default scheduler does not track load status such as internode traffic, CPU usage. It does not analyze the topology structure also. Additionally, improper usage of workers can harm the performance. Thus, we can see that runtime analysis is gaining importance for better performance of the scheduler. Therefore, the adaptive scheduler is needed to optimize the configuration of topologies and task assignments. The main objective of this work is to provide an improvised Apache scheduler than a default scheduler. Following are the objectives of the work. Implement a basic scheduler which analyzes the submitted topology structure and distributes task to executors, executors to slots and finally slots to nodes. Implement the rescheduling strategy based on the executor's runtime data by optimizing the topology and task assignment configurations. Evaluate the implemented scheduler under different loads. Test the proposed model with different topologies. Literature survey. Nowadays, big data has made its place as the most demanded technology in the market. 
To handle big data we have many software that can increase the efficiency. The data volume is generated and increased with demands of increasing series of sensing devices in IoT. It is known as big data, heavy data with different sets and it's grown in speed that avoids the traditional processing and use of solutions 1. People pose technological hurdles such as space and memory limits, latency and bandwidth considerations, fault tolerance when processing IoT data series, i.e., data streams from many users and devices to a stream of data continuously processed in real time is provided solutions for several problems called data stream processing, DSP, 3. The DSP implementation is distributed in ways where several nodes can separate the problem into smaller 1 4. Apache Storm 5, and distributed stream processing engine, SPE, is used to run these distributed stream processing applications, SPAS. For analyzing the case it has been posted on different social media such as Twitter. MapReduce 6, a Google product is most widely used programming based on HeyTip 7, open source implementation and made available to others outside that company. Stream processing includes data processing before storing and like batch systems involves processing after storing. Generally, a processing unit in a stream engine is called a processing element A. A stable scheduling 9 is more critical than an efficient scheduling for streaming applications, especially when a scheduling is to be dynamically rescheduled during runtime 10 to 11. A stable scheduling 9 is more critical than an efficient scheduling for streaming applications, especially when a scheduling is to be dynamically rescheduled during runtime. There are many other personalized schedulers, except regular storm schedulers such as the online T-Storm 13 scheduler. Based on reducing inter-slot communication cost, T-Storm's scheduling strategy is to minimize the total communication costs. However, when the cluster load is heavily loaded or the nodes in a data center are distributed multiple racks, the internode communication is far more expensive. Proposed Architecture Design The layered implementation of Apache Storm framework and the architectural components are as shown in in Figure 2. The lowest layer is the hardware layer that consists of peripheral devices such as CPU, memory like RAM, HDD. Next layer is the operating system layer. Operating system layer itself can be divided into multiple layers. Its main functionalities are process management, CPU scheduling, system monitoring, interaction with I.O. devices, memory management, and user programs and applications like browsers, processors run in this layer. Apache Storm also run in this layer. The next layer is Storm Server layer. Actual scheduler is implemented in this layer. The functionalities like Data Manager, Node Manager, Traffic Monitor, Load Monitor, Task Monitor, LG Manager etc. which are required for scheduling are implemented in this layer. The topmost layer is the user code that exposes configuration-related functionalities for Storm, Storm Zookeeper servers, UI ports, Nimbus host, supervisor slot ports, user requirements and scheduling policies. At this layer user can perform tests based on the configurations. System architecture identifies underlying modules of the system. It is very important to identify the modules at the early stages of development and recognize the communication between the already established modules. The functionalities of each module are defined clearly. Figure 3 explains the architecture of the work. Topologies are submitted to master node from applications like Twitter. Nimbus is the master node where scheduling strategy is implemented. Zookeeper is responsible to manage state of Nimbus as Storm is stateless. If Nimbus dies, it can be restarted from where it stopped because Zookeeper stores all states. Once the topology is submitted Nimbus analyzes its structure and distributes tasks to all available supervisors. After particular time interval Nimbus checks for rescheduling criteria and reassigns tasks. Once all tasks completed supervisor waits for new task. Once all topologies are processed Nimbus also waits for new topology similar to supervisor. Class Diagram In this section the overview of the high-level classes and the relation between them is presented. 
The important classes in the Apache Storm Scheduler Framework package relevant to work are shown in the figure 4. The classes such as Data Manager, Node Manager, and Internode Traffic Manager manage topology, node, and traffic. The classes Load Monitor, Task Monitor, Work Monitor are used to monitor load, task, and works. Scheduler class is used to schedule the tasks based on designed criteria. Data Flow Diagrams Data flow diagrams are the diagrammatical representation of the flow of data through various components. It can be illustrated as a pipeline function where the data flow from its origin, performs all required computations and finally reach the end point. The last stage is the output produced by that module. Figure 5 represents the flow of data between the different processes of the scheduling method. The topology obtained from application is provided to topology structure analysis module. This data will be processed and assigns executors and slots. Based on the internode traffic rescheduling happens. Tasks are submitted to reschedule module and finally processed data is generated as output. Activity Diagram Dynamic aspects of the system are elaborated in the activity diagram. Activity here is the basic operation of the system. Various operations of the system are divided into different activities. The activity diagram acts as a flowchart which displays the flow of control between these activities. As shown in the figure 6, first activity is to get topology from application. Then analyze its structure and schedule tasks. If reschedule is required reassign executors and workers. Otherwise continue with previous scheduler. Sequence Diagrams The sequence diagram portrays the interaction between the different entities of the system. The figure 7 shows the high-level modules and the sequence of communication between them. The internal working of the scheduler is also shown in the diagram. Explanation of the algorithm and how it has been implemented. A rapid process required to carry out rebalance at runtime indicates that some discovery needs to be used to identify a new distribution. The following algorithm is based on a basic greedy quest from the load balancing node across handlers, which means that internode traffic is reduced and all nodes can be avoided. It consists mainly of two successive stages. Each topology splitting operator is split into what workers have been designed to serve as the topology stage. The placement goal is to reduce the traffic between different workers' managers and balance the CPU demand of the workers. In the second phase, the first phase's workers must be assigned to clusters' available slots. To minimize internode traffic and to satisfy load capacity constraints such allocation has taken into account. In the first phase, the pairs of interacting executors are iterated for each topology in descending order by rate of interchange tuples. If both the executors have not yet been allocated for each of these pairs, they are assigned to the least loaded worker. Similarly, in the second phase, the interacting workers' pairs are iterated by rate of exchange tuples in descending order. If both have not been allocated to any node yet for each pair, then the least loaded node is selected to host them. Results and Discussion All the testing was performed in Eclipse IDE. As the work provides an extension to Apache Storm, it is tested in the Apache Storm environment where our work is built. The figure 8 shows latency v slash s time for default and adaptive schedulers. At the beginning system seems overloaded and all schedulers experiences a transient state. This period lasts up to 20 seconds. In the subsequent 20 seconds time frame, up to second 40, both schedulers performance is stable. Adaptive scheduler stores admin actions used between 40 and 50 seconds after they start to recompile. At second 50 adaptive scheduler starts to work and quickly the performance is improved than default scheduler. This proves that the adaptive scheduler analyzes runtime behavior and correctly identify cases to improve performance. Conclusion Big Data Storm is an emerging technology and its open source loop with increasing real-time employment, assisting, and developing it. Storm is expected to support a wide range of use cases and its associated complexity, making the Storm's development difficult and the new features of the drive itself to adapt to almost all use cases. In this work, 
the default scheduling of existing scheduling problems is first analyzed. Storm scheduling, adapting its behavior according to the topology and application of the midget time communication mode is designed and implemented. Experimental results show that developed scheduling achieves better performance in terms of waiting time than the default storm scheduling in production. The latency of processing events is less than 15 to 25 percent regarding the test topology's default storm scheduling. Following are the few enhancements which can be done as future work in this work.